I'm James Wing Machine Gun. This is the last video that I might be making before I go to work because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get busy in a New York minute. So, I'm going to put it to you like this. Last night I enjoyed The Walking Dead. I enjoyed The Walking Dead so much that I didn't get any sleep because I kept dreaming about zombies. That's right, zombies. It didn't have anything to do with The Walking Dead. It just, somehow or another, in my dreams, I woke up on the ground in the zombie apocalypse. They weren't chasing me or anything. Unless I woke up far enough away that I could watch them chasing other people. Which, I'm going to be honest, I did not intervene. I just watched. I mean, I was stunned. And, like, for the whole dream, I was stunned. And I was like, well, these are zombies. And the first thing in my head I'm telling myself is that, you know, I've watched way too much of The Walking Dead. So then, funny thing happened. I woke up, like, three or four times in the middle of the night and went right back to the exact same spot I left off of in my dream. Now, before you judge me, when I was a child, I used to be able to have this power of going back into my dreams and picking up where they left off. Now, I've talked to people about this many a times before when I was a younger person, and they kept asking me, was, did I have any Native American blood in me? At the time, I didn't know, so I said no. I come find out that I do have Native American blood in me, being that both of my maternal grandparents are Cherokee Indian. My father's mom was Cherokee. My mother's mom was Cherokee. So therefore, yeah. I do have Native American blood in me. Um, there is a thing in Native American cultures called dream walkers. I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but basically it's like astral projection, only when you're in dreams you can travel to all these places that you probably will never go in your lifetime, and if you actually do go, you'll get that sense of deja vu. So there is a such thing as dream walkers. I don't think I qualify as one of those guys, because if I do, God knows I don't want to be in the zombie apocalypse, because... I don't think that I can save everyone, but I also don't want to be a victim of Negan's ass either. So, you know, I mean, it kind of depends on how you look at this shit. But, I mean, everybody has their thing, you know, and um, I have no intention of going out like Glenn or Abraham. But I also know this, that if there ever is a zombie apocalypse, being that I was in the military and being that I was at the fort that told me specifically that they are ready for the zombie apocalypse... I'm heading to Fort Benning, Georgia. I'm going back to my second home. Technically, it would be my third home, but, you know, I'm going home. Because there's guns there. And as horrible as a shooter as I am, I do have this bow and arrow. I might not have enough arrows to take out every zombie, but I better make damn sure that every shot counts. Now, as far as, um, me uh, going through this stuff in, in, in the dream. I didn't have any weapons, you know. And with this hip replacement, it kind of makes it impossible for me to run. So, but in the dream, I never ran anywhere. It's like I watched the zombies. And these were like, like zombies from more like World War Z where they just like start running and flocking and everything. But they were flocking around all the people down in the valley, but they weren't flocking nowhere near me. I think, like, maybe one zombie came up behind me. He just stood there. He never made a move. He just stood there. And so, eventually, he's just standing there. He doesn't even move. He's just standing like this. He's just swaying back and forth. It's like he knows that I'm there, but he doesn't want to touch me. I don't know why he didn't want to touch me. Maybe my arms were stinking or something. But anyway, he didn't want to touch me. So I'm saying, I was like, well, there's this zombie right here. Why is he not doing anything? He's not doing anything at all. And then, damn, mom woke me up. And I haven't been back to sleep since. So maybe if I go back to sleep tonight, the zombie will probably kill me. But yeah, I do um, believe that I may be reobtaining some of my um, blood powers of, of uh, dream walking and stuff like that. Don't know. Could be wrong. But I'm James Williams. You just come covering number two. You guys can Google that dream walking thing. I'll be seeing you later. Like after I get off from work. Still be wearing the same outfit. Be seeing you.